Hello friends, in this video I will be exploring some of the data types of f -sharp. So let's move on to the ChatGPT thread we had in our earlier video. So this one. So first of all we have the integers, the int, int64 byte. Here we can see some code examples, they are pretty similar to c -sharp or Java. I can see some mathematical operations, they also are pretty similar then comes the floats so i am actually skipping the numerical part i am moving to the strings <clears throat> we already know what is strings are and what are they used for so i'm actually interested in this string operations first of all i can see the concatenations it says use the plus operator to concatenate strings so let's try so left text is equal to some text and then the text sorry text to some more text so if I want to add them together what I'm going to do is let total Let's go and print this thing. Print fan. <clears throat> so it prints all basically working like a charm. Now we have the formatting thing. So it says use is printf for formatted strings. So let's try this. First of all, I have to see the code example. So let's move on to that, the code part. So here I'm going to take two different variables, basically two different data types. So first of them is going to be a string data type for name. So let name the second one is H now let formatted string string to S the name and the age so let's print it oops there is a mistake i have to put the ampersand so let's run it works good now here comes the string length so basically every string has some properties so I'm going to actually explore some of them so let's just remove this print statement and <clears throat> and access some of the properties of strings so first of all I'm just going to grab a variable whatever it is whatever is equal to formatted string this dot accessor so first of all I am going to try this length print pen length oops not for whatever oh 
or just let's rename it to length no 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 it should be a d still not working why Oops. another mistake the ampersand now i am going to run it the length of the whole string is actually 39 so let's access another property so this time i am going to access the dot accessor let's try this ends with so i'll going to i'm going to test actually the if the string ends with d or not so let's rename it to ends with d so this is basically a function and it takes an argument of character type so i'm going to pass d as an argument so let's just change it to p since it's a boolean value it will return a true or a false so let's run sorry i should change it to contains much better so it actually ends with d i'm going to try another property which one actually should we have a bunch of properties here the index of index of any insert last index of let's try this last index of so first of all i'm going to see if as you can see the whole string has how many numbers of s one mm. two i think it should be two so i'm going to find what is the index of the last s so let's pass the argument s and rename the variable to shit last index, last index of s and it should be a d since it will be returning an integer so let's run it so the last index of a is it's showing 34 is it really true let's count first of all i have to print the whole string first so let's print that formatted string <clears throat> so here is the string and I'm going to find the last index of A's so as you know indexing actually starts from 0 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 so i am getting closer to 36 there might be a mistake of my counting so 
it's correct I'm moving forward so here comes the booleans so we already know what booleans are so booleans are basically two values true or false we can see the boolean oper operations and operands the operands are the logical and logical or and not so let's try them so let's just remove all of them <coughs> i'm not going to take any fancy statements i'm just using printfn function so it's short printfn since it's going to return just a boolean value so i'm just taking the ampersand b and first of all let's try for two true 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 i should surround them oops let's try the and logical and operation hmm. logical and so let's print it it just says true true and true returns true and then okay, let's print it man. let's just copy and paste it instead of typing i'm going to try true and false false it should return false yes it's false then we have the false and false false it's also returning the false now we are moving to the logical OR operation OR two pipes let's just not use this parenthesis First of all, we are going to play with two true, true or true. Oops. It's throwing some compilation error, so we have to use the parentheses. So let's run. It's going good. Then we want to try a true and a false. This is also true and it's right. And then we have both false. False. This is a false. Okay. And the let's last logical operation is the not operation for this we want to negate everything for the first time we want to negate true it's showing a compilation error so let's try the parenthesis why not? What's the problem? It says use a boolean literal. This expression was expected to have boolean brief, but here has type bool. The not operator is to differentiate ref call considered using not expr here. Sorry. <clears throat> I was basically writing C sharp or Java types of code. So it's not a not sign we should type it not true <clears throat> I 
now we can run it it says false again we want to try this with false not false it should be written true yes it's true so we are basically done with booleans